just released WGAL News A Franklin and Marshall College poll with what voters are thinking right now, Matt. Yeah, absolutely. The last poll was in October, and mm -hmm. when you think about all that's transpired since October, the, the impeachment trial, just you have a couple Democrat of things. Yeah, a yeah. few things. Yeah. Some candidates dropped out, right. others yeah. no longer in the running. So let's see uh, where things stand right now in Pennsylvania if the vote on the Democratic side were held right now. Former Vice President Joe Biden, he is still leading in Pennsylvania with 22% of uh, Democratic voters. They would pick him today. Now, he has led every Pennsylvania poll so far, but that number, that 22, that is down since October. Senators Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, they have swapped spots since October, with Sanders now in second, Warren in third, and in fourth place, former uh, New York City uh, Mayor Michael Bloomberg. This is his first time in this poll, jumping to 7%, maybe cutting down on uh, Vice President Biden's lead. Of course, Bloomberg is the only one advertising uh, in the race so far in Pennsylvania. And take a look at this. This shows how engaged and excited voters are to vote uh, this year. 67%, two in three voters are very much interested in uh, what's going to be happening in the election. That is pretty much the level that it was right before the 2018 midterm, where you saw a lot of uh, voters come out to vote there. So what could this mean for November? Of the tremendous interest in the election, it could be a higher turnout than any turnout in modern history. So we're just going to have to wait and find out. Highly polarized elect electorate right. means a lot of people potentially, hopefully, come out to vote. Yeah. Uh, the president's approval rating in Pennsylvania, it's uh, up slightly since October. It was 35 then. It's 38 now. Uh, and the uh, the first votes next week in Iowa. So let's right. so see what happens there. Yeah, right. yeah and ours is in April.